Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Val and I make a bunch of videos showing you how to do press-ons, acrylics, basically a little of everything. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you like this video. But anyways, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be recreating this set right here that I posted on my Instagram. And it was a very, very popular set. So I'm really excited to show you guys how to do it. Um, I absolutely love how it came out. So let's get into it. So the first thing we're going in with is 71 by Raya's Nails. This is one of my favorite colors literally ever. I really love all of Raya's Nails gel polishes. Like all of her nudes are good. So if you're looking for some good nudes, I highly recommend you check out her website. Um, I'll link it linked down below. I'll leave it linked down below. But yeah, you guys, so I'm going to be doing this on every single nail. And in a second here, I think I'm going to show you guys what we're recreating. So this is another episode of what she wanted versus what she got. Um, it's really, really, really gorgeous. Like the way it came out and everything, I feel like it was very well done, honestly. And I'm not just saying that because I did it. I feel like I love doing this series because I get to show you guys how you can make your customers' dr nail dreams literally come true by recreating exactly what they want. So yeah, I'm really excited to show you guys this. So I went in with two colors, uh, two coats of that nude, and then I'm going to be using my Madame Glam gel paints. I use these in literally almost every video, but you guys, they are amazing. Literally so, so amazing. They're like the most beautiful, gorgeous painting gels you can literally ever buy. I have heard of the, like the Kiara Sky ones, and I heard people on TikTok saying that it was really hard to work with and things like that. But basically, um, I'm showing you guys the gold one. This one is to die for. If you guys want to get one, I highly recommend you get this one. Hopefully, they're not sold out, but I'm going to link these three down below. If you want to get just a few colors, I highly recommend it. And I'm going to be mixing it with the pigment. This is the picture we're recreating. Um, I, I don't know if you guys were able to see. I kind of went like I kind of showed it too quick but I wanted to make the gold a little more yellow tone just like it was in the photo so I did just really want to go in and um you know kind of alter the shade of gold just a little bit and at the end I'm going to show you guys a comparison side by side of what I ended up recreating and then the inspo picture as well so you guys can get a better idea because I showed it so quick right now in the beginning I'm zooming in for you guys and this little pigment is just a random pigment from Young Nails um, I will be leaving the name of it down below but I don't know if they still have it I got this a long long time ago or like almost a year ago uh, when they were having their Thanksgiving uh, Black Friday sale or something like that but I can also find a gold uh, pigment on Amazon and I'll just link that one down below as well. It might be even more affordable. Um, honestly, I think this is literally just a pure Mika powder if you guys know what that is. I have a few of those Mika powders. I like using them for um, cuticle oils. You can use Mika powder for that and also for your nails. So I'm just mixing these together and as you can see, it's really giving it more of a yellow gold type of um, hue, which is exactly what um, I needed for the inspo pick to like for it to look like the inspo pick basically. So I really liked how that looked. You can see the difference here, but look at how beautiful that gold one on the left is. You guys Oh my gosh i'm obsessed um the silver one that they have is also really beautiful and in case you guys are wondering yes i'm literally mixing this on top of a candle lid um that's just a little tip you can literally use candle lids and they'll be so good to use as little paint palettes when you're mixing colors and stuff like that it's a really nice little hack so i'm also going to be using a little brush this one is from aliexpress i'm going to be linking a few of my favorite brushes down below i like any type of brush literally i'm not picky but honestly the madame glam ones are the best they're the best i've ever tried in my life and i have used to use the aliexpress ones before that and i still use my aliexpress ones too so that says a lot i still love them both i just literally use whichever one i gravitate towards but um i do use different brushes for different things but here i'm a little out of frame i'll probably get in frame right now but i'm just going to be um basically painting on the little like swirl or little like uh negative space i guess you could say i don't know what these are called but i'm just kind of doing it wherever i'm not even looking at the picture that much i'm only going to look at it when i need a reference um like the black outline or whatever so i am just doing this for right now and i'm just going to be kind of going wherever on the nail basically focusing this design more so on the tips than on the bottom of half of the nail on the other half of the nail i mean so i'm just going to be doing this and then yeah i'm just going to be painting it in and i'm going to be doing this on every single nail
So right here, I'm finishing up on the last a uh, nail and what i really really love about designs like this is that they don't have to be perfect literally that's the good thing about nail art is you can really have fun with it get creative i do say this in a few of my videos like often i kind of repeat this but like literally have fun with it and the less you try to perfect it the more like beautiful or per perfect it'll actually come out i feel like the times that i've tried my hardest i didn't get the result i wanted and the times where i just really go into it let my creative mind flow um, it just comes out absolutely the best and I really really love the outcome most of the time so yeah that's what I'm doing there I think I have to keep fixing the camera because I have a really really like trash little phone holder and it really doesn't hold my phone that good you guys so I have to like upgrade soon but it kind of makes my phone move around and stuff and get out of frame really easily I know getting out of frame is mainly me for some reason when I do these sets I get really really close to myself to do it because I feel like I can't really see that good I feel like another thing I want to invest in is like better lighting too it's just a bunch of different things all together but um definitely you grow as you go so yeah and I did get a few comments of people getting like mad that i say um a lot but you guys i literally can't help it like i literally just do that it's literally my part of my vocabulary now so yeah and here i like to paint in the little part with the little tiny brush it would be probably easier if you just use the actual um like if you were just using a white gel polish you can just use the actual brush it comes with but because i'm using a paint pot i just like to use this but you could also use like a little poly gel brush or something to scoop out some of the paint from the paint pot and just paint it on like a normal gel polish brush if that's what you wanted to do you could do that as well so yeah this is just the second hand and i really love these and if you're going to be using these madam glam gel paints always make sure that you're cure curing it for at least one minute or longer i feel like they definitely need their time to cure and then once they cure they're definitely on there uh, but i think because the consistency is a little bit thicker it's just necessary for these specific paints and oh my gosh you guys i don't know if i told you but i freaking caved in and i did buy the kiara sky led or uv lamp you guys i literally i almost didn't want to do it like i was like that's literally an insane amount like i know it's like worth it like a lot of people say it's worth it but i had done a poll like a few weeks back or like yeah a few weeks back and i asked people what the best uh, UV LED lamp is and literally 90% of the people said Kiara Sky so I went ahead I just caved and I just got it but you guys I've had it for like two weeks almost and I haven't even taken it out of the box it's like I almost don't want to use it you know like when something's so expensive or it's like kind of like you kind of splurge on it and usually don't do things like that and then like you don't want to use it because you don't want to ruin it my current lamp that I have from Amazon is really like has full it's like full of gel polish all over I'm I've said this before but I'm a really messy creator like I really tend to make a mess a lot of the time when I'm working and it's like not something that I try to do it's kind of just natural to me like I just really like when I'm literally just sitting there working or like working on sets and stuff I don't try to be so perfect and clean and everything like that because I feel like my sets come out perfect when I'm just doing my thing you know but yeah so I'm kind of scared to like ruin it like I really want to take care of it and I really want it to be able to last me a long time because I know I'm going to be using it every day. Like I think that's why this lamp kind of like died out on me really fast is because I use it literally every single day. And yeah if you're wondering which one I used to use it's this one from Amazon. I don't even know the brand but I'll link it down below in case you guys were interested. But I don't recommend it that much. I've had it for a little under a year and it already died out on me. Well it's like hasn't died out. I've been using it. But it's like flickering and I know you have to like replace the bulbs. But I really think the Kiara Sky one might last longer. At least I hope it does. And it'll probably be like way more worth it. And I really hope it cures my gels really good. Because this lamp has been kind of like slacking sometimes. Like my gel will, will like won't cure. I have I think I said that in my past video like with black. Especially with like black uh, gel. It literally does that. I don't know. I think I literally on these nails, you guys. Oh my gosh. I literally think on these nails, I struggled because the black wasn't curing. And it wasn't uh, the gel. I literally think it was my lap. So I think this, doing this set is what, like I filmed this a while ago. Doing this set is like what was the final straw. And I was like, okay, I definitely need a new UV lamp because the one I have just isn't cutting it. Anyways, you guys, I'm literally rambling. But I'm grabbing my little dotting tool. You can literally get these anywhere in case you're a beginner and you're unsure where to get them. I'll link some from Amazon. I just feel like Amazon's the easiest way to like buy things but I also link some from AliExpress if you're willing to wait a little while to get them and yeah I'm gonna be doing a bunch of these little like cow print 
vibe little things this is like almost a count print set i don't really know like what it's inspired by but i did show the original creator photo like in the beginning and i'll show it again in a bit but this is what i'm going to be doing so i'm kind of doing little blobs all around i feel like what could have caused the gel to not cure could have been using the dotting tool like maybe using the dotting tool uses too much product and it kind of clumps it on a little bit too thick it could have been that too but honestly you guys yeah i think it was my lamp mostly so I'm just doing this all over the nail, kind of going in no particular order and your outside lines don't need to be perfectly rounded because we are going to outline this with the gold. Like I said, this is one of the easiest designs for you to do and if you do gel X or if you're planning on doing gel X on people, you guys can take all of these ideas from all the press ones that I do and you can incorporate them into your gel X sets to make them look so gorgeous and keep in mind, 90, literally 98% of the nails or like press-ons that I do that you see on my Instagram. By the way, if you don't follow me on Instagram, I'll put it right here so you guys can go follow me. Uh, if you tell me you're coming from YouTube, I'll follow you back. But yeah, you guys, literally um, 90, like 98% of the sets I do on my Instagram are recreations of original photos from acrylic nail sets. Most of the time, people will send me pictures of acrylic nails that they want me to recreate and I'll try my best to replicate it on press-ons and that's the same thing you can do with a gel X set as well. I know gel X can be kind of confusing because people will show you a picture of acrylics and you won't really know how you can exactly like execute it and make it look the same because gel X gets kind of confusing because you can't use acrylic and stuff like that. Uh, it's kind of hard to encapsulate so yeah that's like one thing that I did notice and like that's really handy with these videos for everyone. So now what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be dotting on little black dots all around. The original photo did have these as well. So I am just adding them on literally in random places. I'm not adding too many because I don't want the emphasis to be on the dots. This is just like an extra little detail that'll make the set look really cute. So this is what I'm doing there. So now I'm going to be going in with this really beautiful gold pigment that I mixed up. And I think I'm going to show you guys in a second which brush I'm going to be using for this. This is the Ultra Liner Brush from Madame Glam. Just look how beautiful and skinny that tip is. It's so gorgeous, you guys. I love this brush. Um, the reason why I love brushes like this is because you can really use them if you're trying to do like really detailed art. And yeah, you guys. So what I noticed here was like the black wasn't cured. As you can see there, I'm kind of like playing with it. I'm like, okay, is this like not drying? And yeah, it wasn't dry and I did put it in the lamp for over one minute. So that was kind of weird. I was kind of just like, okay, I don't know why this isn't curing. And that's when I knew it was my lamp, like for sure. So as you can see, I'm kind of just peeling it away because I was kind of like getting me really triggered and it was kind of satisfying to peel it away. Honestly, I don't know why I did that. I literally don't know why I was just doing it. I was kind of, 
I don't know. I think it was literally like 2 in the morning while I was filming this. So I think I was like half asleep. But anyways, I do go in and I try to clean it off as much as I can to get off all the part that wasn't dry. And then I'm going to have to go back in and fix the black. So I'll just come back once it's fixed. Okay, you guys. And there we go. So I fixed it. And now I'm going to be going in with that outline of the gold. So I'm literally just going in kind of making sure I emphasize the curves and all the different little round dots or like blobs I guess you can say and I'm literally just going ahead and I'm outlining it and this part doesn't have to be too thick or too thin it's just like in the middle I'm just using a decent amount of product on my brush so I don't have to go in too often because I hate when I have to constantly dip back and forth I do do that like a lot and I notice it just depends how much product you get on your brush but yeah that's what I'm doing there and I'm just going to be doing this on every single little uh black like bigger dot and you guys this design is literally that easy so I'll be back in a second. So once that's done and cured in the lamp for a little over one minute, I'm going in with my gel top coat. This is the Eye Gel Beauty. This is the one I always use in all of my videos and all of my photos that you see on my Instagram. So I do really love this top coat. And yeah, you guys, this design is literally done. I didn't get to record myself putting it in the box for you and packaging it up. I do want to start doing that, but I noticed that sometimes I don't package my orders right away. But here's the final shot. So this is the final video of what they look like after I filed the tips and everything like that to make them super nice and sharp. And they're so, so gorgeous, you guys. I absolutely fell in love with this set so much much and i'm also going to insert a clip of the girl that bought them actually wearing them so you guys can see the video isn't in that like good of a quality but i still wanted to show you guys but yeah you guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i really hope you learned something and you hope you like this little simple design this is just a quick little video but i love you guys so much and appreciate you for all the support you guys give me and don't forget to subscribe and like this video bye and have a great day